The councils have been very busy the past two to three weeks with a lot of different proposals. I know not everyone's keeping up to date with that. So I thought it was a good time to just kind of go through them. Just very high level, let you know what's going on. These first two have already passed the ICC, the Community Council, and the IMC. So they're going to be implemented. The rest of them, I think there's another six or seven of them, have passed the Community Council and are sitting on a vote with the IMC right now. You can find all this information yourself. You can look in the Discord. You can look on Snapshot like I have here. But just a heads up, I do expect most of these to be passed by the IMC with, I believe, one of them possibly getting a revisions needed vote. So the first one, this was just about three weeks ago. IIP 59 is the Alluvium Alliance program. And this has already been implemented. Basically, it just gives incentive to, you know, creators and influencers to make more content, put their creator codes out there. Depending on how much Ethereum they bring in to Alluvium, they can get between a three and a half percent kickback to a 17 and a half percent kickback. That 17 and a half percent is means every month they're generating multiple ETH. So it might seem like a high percentage, but if we're bringing in new influencers who are not already within this community, they're going to bring in new players and it's good for everybody all around. But quick plug before I move on, my creator code is Najafe, N-I-J-A-F-E. If you'd like to support the channel at all, I'd really appreciate you plugging that in yourself. The next one, IIP60, Gameplay Feature Proposal. So this basically brings up a new type of proposal. We have an IIP, which is this, which is basically bringing new ideas to the DAO. Then you have an ICCP, which is uh, an Alluvium configuration proposal. Basically, it's to alter something that's already in place. And then now there's going to be a GFP, which is going to be a Gameplay Feature Proposal. This is just to help streamline more of those proposals that are focused strictly on the gameplay and less of the, the whole economy. Those are the two that have passed the IMC. So now, we have IIP61, fuel allocation for marketing purposes. This is sitting with the IMC right now. I expect it to be passed. Actually, so I think this will come up a little higher up. You can see that there's only two approvals and one declined. This is one that somehow the tag might not have got through internally. So a few of us, including myself, missed the vote on this, but we all intended to approve it. We put this up again and, and it did get passed and is now sitting with the IMC. But basically it allows up to $25,000 worth of fuel to be used for marketing efforts. So that can go to you know, influencers, guilds, partners, any way that they can bring some people into the community, give them some fuel to play the game, to figure out if they like it, and hopefully keep them as revenue creating players. So GFP, so one of the reasons why that other proposal was made for this new type of proposal was because of this. So this is the GFP1, training grounds, alluvial staking, and training decks. And this is just going to be for a new structure on your alluvium zero land. So if you're an alluvium zero player, this is good for you. It's going to allow you to passively train your alluvials, level up their experience, and just give more utility to the land and the landowners. That's always welcomed. I'm a landowner myself. IIP61, this is the one that just got put back up, like I said. Still says active here, but this is already has enough votes to pass. Then we have ICCP17, which is an amendment to IIP45R. I was actually the one who drafted this original IIP45, which needed to get revised to R. And that was about making sure all the landowners get a 5% share of all the revenue that comes in in game. But when that was created, that was when fuel was expected to still be on chain. And at that time, we didn't know if Alluvium Zero would be launching at the same time as the overworld. So this ICCP 17 is just to change the way that the revenue that comes in outside of fuel gets back to the landowners. So yet yeah, you're going to be selling your fuel, the people buying your fuel, you'll get that 5% there. But everything that comes in from Alluvium Beyond or over that top rail, everything that doesn't come back through fuel is now just going to be Ethereum sent directly back to the landowners based on how much they're selling to the market. So if you're still not playing Alluvium Zero, you're just holding your land, you're still not going to get anything from this. But if you're playing efficiently and you're selling fuel to the market on, I believe it's a monthly basis, you'll get a kickback of ETH for those additional sales. So don't get caught up thinking, I have my game right here, so I'm looking. Don't get caught up thinking that the only return you're going to get from Alluvium Zero is by selling this fuel. There's more revenue coming through outside of fuel and you're going to get your share of that as well. All right, IIP 62, streamlining the onboarding experience for new Alluvium players. This was brought up, um, I think it was by Caveman, maybe it was somebody else, about allowing the players to bypass the tutorial. Now, myself, and I'm sure a lot of you watching, we're, you know, diehard Alluvium fans. We love to see that tutorial. You know, I thought it was a great experience going through that before we get to hop into the overworld. But this is to say that there's a lot of players that might be coming over from TFT, might just be interested in the gauntlet, in the, the PvP side of things, and they're not really interested in the lore. This is going to allow them to bypass that overall tutorial and just hop right into
into a game like Gauntlet if that's what they want to play. Again, enough votes already to be passed by the Community Council, and that should be on its way to the IMC. A couple more here. We have ICCP 18, threshold changes to IIP 22 for revenue distribution. This one is going to be exciting for a lot of people, especially if you're an ILE staker. Originally, staking rewards were going to start going out once the DAO reaches 500 ETH in revenue, and that has now changed to 150 ETH in revenue. So this is going to allow for that first revenue distribution to come a lot earlier. And if you know how the whole tokenomics works, not going to get into that right now, but whenever we have a rev dis event, that means this ETH, so for example, this 150 ETH is used to buy ILV off of the market. So not only are we getting that revenue distribution, but we're putting buy pressure on the ILV token. And then the last one we have here is IIP 63 dynamic survival mode. Now this was brought up because I guess survival mode was predictable every day. So somebody who was really good at the game could get to that level 40, which was giving you a million airdrop points. And then somebody could just copy that strategy for that day and also get the 40 and get that million points. And then it brought up the idea of people making multiple accounts, you know, every day and just getting that 1 million points each time they reach level 40 in survival mode. So this is going to change that and do it retroactively. So if you're looking at your airdrop points and you're sitting like, I'm already down, my place is like 3000. There's a good chance that a lot of those were using this, I guess you could call it exploit to make new accounts and get higher up on that ranking. But if and when this is passed, I think this might get revision, but some iteration of this should get passed. And then wherever you're sitting on those airdrop points, you should jump up a little bit. So this is basically good for everyone who hasn't, you know, been cheating or using this exploit. But that's it for this video. Again, a quick rundown of all the proposals that are going through right now. Uh, I know a lot of people don't pay attention to the governance. So hopefully this just gives you a little insight onto what's going on right now. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Use my creator code. Even if you're not purchasing anything, um, it still helps out the channel. And that's just Najaf, N-I-J-A-F-E. And I have a lot more Alluvium content coming out. I should have, by the time you see this, I should have already had an Alluvium Zero one out. And I'm already learning even more about Alluvium Zero to really, you know, be as efficient as possible. So I'm going to be making more videos on that as well as the overworld. I'm going to dabble into the arena side of things as well. But admittedly, I'm probably a better Zero player and overworld player than I am PvP. But yeah, lots of things coming for this channel. Stay tuned. Catch you later.